action to the Queen's death has been pouring in. We're hearing from leaders in Kentucky and Indiana. Our own Gladys Batista has been keeping up with the responses from local leaders. She joins us live from the newsroom. Gladys, Vicki and I remember her well when she came here in 2007, or the Queen's motorcade racing into Churchill Downs from the Oaks. That's right. Exciting day. Rick, Vicki, I'm sure that that's something no one can really forget. Now, she came here to Kentucky several times during her reign, which is no surprise considering she was an avid horse race lover. And, of course, we all know how much horses are part of the fabric of our Commonwealth. She owned Mars at a farm in Lexington, but even attended the Kentucky Derby in 2007 on one of her trips. Our cameras were rolling as she took a tour of the trophy room at Churchill Downs. Afterward, she watched the race with Prince Philip. American leaders were quick to offer their condolences to the royal family and the British people. Senator Mitch McConnell met the Queen during her 2007 visit to the U.S., including here to Louisville and Churchill Downs that we just showed you video of. Speaking on the Senate floor this afternoon, he praised her leadership during her 70-year reign. She guided venerable institutions through modern times using timeless virtues like duty, dignity, and sacrifice. She offered our contemporary world a living master class that it needed badly. On the other side of the river, Governor Eric Holcomb on Twitter praising the Queen's, quote, stability and strength. He added, quote, she led with unflappable class, purpose and vision and will leave behind a legacy that simply can't be equaled. But in her honor, we should all try. Governor Holcomb and Governor Bashir have both directed flags be lowered to have staff in her honor. Indiana Senator Todd Young also sending his condolences on Twitter, saying, quote, the world lost a towering figure. The special relationship between our nations was preserved for decades in large part through the Queen's friendship and leadership. Now, that's leadership that spanned decades, making her Britain's longest reigning monarch. We have extensive coverage of Queen Elizabeth's passing, as well as archive stories from her past visits to Kentucky. You can find it all on WOKY.com and on our free mobile app. Reporting live in the newsroom, Gladys Bautista, WOKY News. Thank you.